Welcome back, beauties. Steve Beasley here. I wanted to come to y'all today and do a first impressions for a very much talked about concealer. I had to like see what all the hype is about. When you see people raving about a product, you like, is it really that good? I looked online and I found out that my Ulta actually had them in the store. So I hadn't been to the Ulta in a while for very talked about reasons but i went in there and i was like oh my god my ulta has morphe now like they changed up a bunch of stuff in my particular ulta so the product that i want to do a first impressions with you all is the makeup revolution concealers these are the conceal and define concealers i picked up three shades because they were buy two get one free i got c17 for contour c12 and i also have c13 so i wanted to um do a first impressions with you all yeah i picked these up on saturday so i wanted to go ahead and you know try them out to see exactly what all the hype is about um i've already done my face um, my foundation that's all and my brows really um i'll go ahead and place the uh, link to my winter foundation routine at the top make a revolution is a uk brand from what i understand i've never used any of their other products i want to say i may have used some eyeshadows i'm not really sure but um, this concealer, like I said, it is a defined and concealed uh, concealer. They have 18 shades on the Ulta website as well as in stores. It says that it has long lasting coverage. It doesn't say if it's like buildable or medium to full. I've heard that it's like medium to full coverage. Hopefully it's buildable because I do like a good buildable uh, concealer. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them. This first one is C12 and they have a doe foot applicator just like the Tarte Tape Shape concealers. Very thick consistency, not too thick. It applied really smooth. This next one is C13. This one looks more like my skin tone here. And then I have number C17 to contour with. So again, this is C12, 13, and 17. I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the shade C13 to conceal and then I'm going to add C12 on top of it to highlight. And the coverage looks long. Love a good doe foot applicator. Did I mention that these are $7? Oh, I forgot to say that. These are $7. $7. This is the shade C12. I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and just blend that out. Oh, that's cute. Come on, coverage. I love the consistency of it. Of it. I'm going to take a little bit more of the shade C12 to highlight under my eye. I'm not seeing any creasing but I don't want to even wait on it to crease. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, apply my setting powder. I'm going to um, go ahead and just set it with my RCMA No Color Translucent Setting Powder. Using that same sponge, I'm just gonna dab it under my eye. Go ahead and set it before it does crease, if it does crease. That looks amazing, $7. It's just as good as the tape shades conceal. Like it, the consistency, the coverage is just as good. Now the only thing that I can say would be a deal breaker is if um, I know for sure the tape shade does not like crease or anything. But at this point, I'm just gonna use all the tape shape up that I have, and like that's it for a tape shape. So. I'm gonna go ahead and do my contour with the shade C17. Um, I've never used like a liquid contour. I normally just do like, um, I do like the, you know, the cream stick, like a stick foundation or something like that. So we're just gonna put it all in the same areas that we normally contour, very pigmented. I'm gonna take this Real Techniques brush, my contour brush that I love so much. And I'm just going to blend that out. Perfect color. I'm gonna take this Morphe Y5 brush and just blend that out some more. 
It does dry fast though, I can say that. Lord. So you gotta work real fast. Concealing and highlighting and dry as fast, but the contour is drying really fast. So you have to work really hard to blend that out. Then you can just put any excess on your nose without putting any on your nose. It's more of a great looking contour to me. But I'm gonna go ahead and set that with my Bobbi Brown bronzer in the shade Deep Four. This coverage is everything though, y'all. And I use the foundation, uh, I use my Wet n Wild foundation again today because it's everything. So why not use it? This coverage on these concealers though, I don't see any darker areas trying to peep through. If you do color correct, I'm pretty sure like it'll um, it'll cover it up even more. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with my application. Like there's no creasing going on. It's not fading or anything. But I think this is like medium to full. I want to give it like a straight up full coverage because I didn't have to go back on top of it to try to conceal it again. Like it looks really good and it's seven dollars. Did I say it already? It's seven dollars. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of reverse contouring to clean this area up. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish the rest of my face. Okay, beauties, I went ahead and finished the rest of my face. This concealer is holding up pretty well. Like, do y'all see the gorgeousness that's going on? Like, and then the contour, the color that I use for my contour, it's not all muddy looking. Perfect shade. Again, that was the shade C17. So, bottom line is, y'all need to try these concealers out. Like, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to try it out for y'all first, and then y'all can go try. <laughs> Again, they are seven dollars. They're a perfect dupe for the Tarte Tape Shade Concealer. I mean, me personally, I'm on a like I'm just I'm good with giving Tarte any more of my money. Then these are perfect. Um, I want to go pick up the other shades so I can have them in my kit. I mean, like they're dope. And the ones I put on the back of my hand, I've already wiped them off, but they dry really fast. So you're gonna have to like work with it. I'm surprised I didn't have a problem when I was putting it under my eyes, but this is really cute. Like it's really full coverage, which I love. It's very, very smooth. Look like the application is smooth. And I love a doe foot applicator. Like who doesn't love a doe foot applicator with your concealer? And like, it's just, I think it's gorgeous. I'm not sure if y'all tried these or not, but you definitely should give them a try. Not only because it's a dope concealer, but because they're $7. Like, let's just keep saying that. They're $7. And a lot of concealers, I think the Tarte Tape Shape is $20. So compared to the two, like, why would you not spend seven on this? Like, let's be real. So that was my first impressions of the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. You definitely should try these out. I'm gonna keep saying that. 
Um, if you do try it out, let me know how you like them down in the comment section. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe if you're not subscribed. I would love to have you be a part of the DBZ family. Make sure you hit the notification bell because that is the only way you'll be notified as to when I upload a new video. I'm just saying, I told y'all before YouTube be trying to play us. So, <laughs> but until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye, beauties. Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m.